Hello everyone, it's Robert from Hilton Got Volvo in Downham Market. Thank you very much for taking a look at this, uh, uh, this V60 inscription that I have here in my stock, set off in silver and really does look quite swish with the two-tone alloys, the silver trim around the windows and the roof rail and visually very appealing with the chrome tailpipes um, at the bottom of the bumper. It's the D3 engine, uh, what I mean by that is it's a two-litre four-cylinder diesel engine Engine, pushing out about 160 brake horsepower uh, and has some great lines and silhouettes and designed beautifully. Let's open the doors and have a look inside. Inside is just as nice and visually appealing with the uh, wooden inlays on the dashboard. You've got the electric seats with the leg extension and you've got this um, charcoal leather face seat with the grey stitching. Also as well comes with the uh, two-stage uh, memory setting for the seat as well. Coming around the back, the same styling cues there, three three-point belts, eyes are fixed on the two outer seats, three independent headrests, armrests in the middle, power supply in the middle, vents in the B pillar. Nice size boot with a 60-40 split, split seat. You've got your automatic tailgate. Fuel cap needs no introduction, but it does require add blue. If you're not sure what that is, please ask, we'd love to tell you. There's no rips or tears that I can see. Electric windows all round, electric mirrors, folding mirrors, and just like the passenger seat, it has two-stage memory setting for the seat. Let's jump inside. And sitting in the driver's seat, it rather is a pleasant place to be. You've got the digital and analog speedo in a digital format. You can also see that you've got the radio station selected in the middle. You can choose that to be either plain, or you can choose to have the map uh, in there as well. Very clever indeed. Panning out, you've got auto lights, auto wipers, adaptive lighting, and a number of steering wheel controls. And if it can't be controlled from here, the chances are it's controlled from here. Very intuitive, just like your smartphone or your tablet. You can pinch in, you can pinch out, you can change the direction uh, of the uh, map, your home button if you ever make a mistake. You've got your digital radio as well as FM and AM and Bluetooth for your phone, so making and receiving calls, but also as well listening to your music and your podcasts. Dual climate control, so different temperatures on different sides. Across there you've got your parking sensors with the visualization and the audible noise for the sensors and a depiction of the car. There we go. So you can see which direction it's coming from. You, can, you also have the benefit of front sensors as well. And you can see there the, the, the audible noise and the depiction of the direction of where the offending article is going from. Swiping across, you can change your bandwidth uh, and the like. Selecting the button on the cent on the central console, you can select the drive modes to suit the driving style that you choose. You've got your six-speed manual box, starting, stopping the engine. That's where you change your drive mode and your electronic handbrake. I found that of use. It was nice to show you around that this V60. If you've got any questions, my name's Robert. I hope to speak to you soon. Bye bye.